Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game for Scratch, and something strange happened this week. A programming language got 10 times faster. That doesn't happen very often, and the key to making a programming language 10 times faster is apparently another programming language. So what we're talking about today is TypeScript. Now, TypeScript, if you did not know, is the programming language that JavaScript programmers use to stay sane. Basically, it's a superset of JavaScript, but it does a bunch of things that just fix the warts in JavaScript. Since then, there has been all kinds of development in the land of TypeScript. If you're in the world of game development specifically, which would make sense why you're on this channel, any uh, JavaScript language or framework or engine can be used with TypeScript. Again, 100% compatibility. I recently did a rundown of all the 2D, 3D, and frameworks available for JavaScript and TypeScript. So if you want to check that one out, I will have that link down below. But back to today's news. Uh, TypeScript just got 10 times faster. So now this comes from uh, Anders Helsberg, uh, who is probably the most prolific language designers in the world. And I I'm actually not even being hyperbolic behind that. This guy is responsible for Turbo Pascal, Delphi, C Sharp, and TypeScript programming languages. So yeah, he's definitely created some of the most important programming languages of our time. Uh, and if you can think of someone more prolific, I would love to hear it in the comments down below because personally, I can't. So what they've just done uh, is made TypeScript 10 times faster. So uh, this is down to the compiler, and you can see over here how much faster we're talking about. Some of the biggest code bases written using TypeScript right now were recompiled. So you're looking at Visual Studio Code as an example. Visual Studio Code has 1.5 million lines of code. Compilation of that currently takes 77.8 seconds. It now takes 7.5 seconds, which is a 10.4 times speed up. And more uh, impressive was from Type Orm, which has 270,000 lines of code, took 17 and a half seconds, is now down to 1.3 seconds or a 13 and a half times speed up. So how the heck did they make it this much faster? Well, it came down to sporting, uh, basically they ported the TypeScript compiler, TSC, over to a new programming language. So they began, uh, began work on a native port of the TypeScript com compiler and tools. The native implementation will dr uh, drastically improve editor startup, reduce most build times by 10 times, and substantially reduce memory usage. Uh, by pointing the current code base, by porting the current code base, sorry about that, uh, we expect to be able to preview a native implementation of the TypeScript compiler uh, capable of command line type checking by mid 2025 with a feature complete solution for project build and a language service by the end of the year. So yeah, that is a pretty impressive jump. Uh, we've seen some other improvements from the results. So most development time is spent in editors and it is where performance is most important. We want editors to load large project quickly and respond quickly in all situations. Modern editors like Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code have excellent performance as long as the underlying language services are also fast. Our implementation, uh, our native implementation, we will be able to provide incredibly fast editor experiences. Again, using Visual Studio Code code base as a benchmark, which is again, one and a half million lines of code. The current time to load the entire project in the editor on a fast computer is about 9.6 seconds. This drops down to about 1.2 seconds with the native language service and eight times improvement in project load speeds in editor scenarios. What this translates to is faster working experience from the time you open your editor to the first keystroke in any TypeScript code base. Uh, so definitely some nice improvements there. Some details of how it's going to go, uh, how, how the evolution is going to be, the timeline you can expect, and so on. And of course, they do have this hands-on video talking about the process. Now, the interesting thing here is they talked about porting it native, but they don't talk a lot about what they did to do so. Now, of course, the thumbnail of this uh, language of this uh, video actually kind of threw that away already. So here you can see the original TypeScript repository. And if you go down to the um, the composition, you will see that it is written in 99.9% .9 TypeScript. So yes, it is a self-hosted uh, language at this point in time. Uh, and then we now have the new one, TypeScript Go. And the Go compiled version of it is now 98.9% .9 Go uh, and 1.1% other. So yeah, they have completely ported over from TypeScript for the TypeScript compiler to Go for the TypeScript compiler. And that's actually an interesting choice because well, the guy who did this made C Sharp programming language. I like C Sharp programming language. Microsoft seems to like C Sharp programming language. So why did they go with Go? Well, they did a bit of a write-up about that. And the key thing here is, so at the top is that they, you know, uh, evaluated a number of things, but this seems to be the big summary of why. 
So by far the most important aspect is that we need to keep the new code base as compatible as possible, both in terms of semantics and in terms of code structure. We expect to maintain both code bases for quite some time going forward. Languages that allow for a structurally similar code base offer a significant boon for anyone making code changes because we can easily port changes between the two code bases. In contrast, languages that require fundamental rethinking of memory management, mutation, data structures, polymorphism, laziness, etc., might be a better fit for a ground up rewrite. But we uh, we're undertaking this as a port that uh, maintains the existing behavior and critical optimizations we built into the language. Idiomatic Go strongly resembles the existing code patterns of the TypeScript code base, which makes this porting effort much more tractable. Uh, Go offers excellent control of memory layout and allocation, both in object and field levels, uh, without requiring that the entire code base uh, uh, continually concern itself with memory management. While this implies a garbage collector, the downside of a garbage collector aren't uh, particularly salient in our code base. We don't have any strong latency constraints that would suffer from garbage collection pauses, slowdowns. That's one of those areas where games often suffer. Uh, batch compilations can effectively forego garbage collection entirely since the process terminates at the end. In non-batch scenarios, most of our upfront allocations live for the entire life of the program, and we have strong domain information about when logical times to run the garbage collector will go. Go's model therefore nets us a very big win in reducing code complexity while paying very little actual runtime costs for garbage collection. So basically, the garbage collection issues were not an issue with the code base they were working with. And the biggest thing seemed to be that Go is semantically and programmatically similar to TypeScript. And I've never actually used Go before, so I couldn't tell you if that is the case. But if you have experience with both languages, tell me how true this holds. Uh, so basically, there's there. There are some downsides, such as uh, JavaScript interrupt, uh, and that's something that they are going to work on fixing. Uh, but yeah, that is why they ultimately chose Go. So uh, if you're interested, TypeScript now has this new Go version of the compiler. Uh, you probably want to wait until mid-2025 when there is a fully released version. I don't know what happens if you go ahead and uh, build this one yourself. I don't know the state of it. I don't even know. There's no uh, releases as of yet for binaries. Uh, so I'm not sure the state of it. But as you can see, they've got it running uh, right now with large code bases such as Visual Studio Code. So quite obviously, it is quite far along. And if they're doing a 2025 mid-release, it's only a few months away. So you're probably better off waiting for that version before going ahead with it. Uh, but if you do want to go, uh, you can actually get it from the TypeScript Go repository right here. It is re released under the Apache 2.0 license. Uh, and again, I do find it a little bit interesting that they, they went with um, Go. I don't know of any other projects at Microsoft that are publicly using Go. Uh, big win for Go. Uh, Go, I know, has a lot of uh, proponents, but I haven't seen too many high-profile wins like this lately. And again, in the world of game development, Go doesn't do amazing things because of the, that garbage collection latency and not a lot of ecosystem around it. But in this kind of area, it might make a ton of sense. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that is it. TypeScript Go is now available, and it is 10 times faster, which is impressive. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.